Hi, let's set up your Zoom for better audio quality so that the cello lessons will be more pleasant. Let's open the Zoom client. Here's the app that you're using. When you open it, you just uh, have the home screen and then you need to access the settings by clicking on this gear icon here. Once you're in the settings, navigate to the audio tab here. Now this is where you select the correct speaker and microphone. So if you have external microphone, for example, plugged to uh, as a USB, then you would choose it. Now the first thing you will need to do is make sure you uncheck this box. You don't want Zoom to automatically adjust microphone volume. You want to have complete control of the volume yourself. Here I can adjust the volumes for the input and output. So I need to just play with these until I've got the optimum settings, both for what I can hear and what's being transmitted. And you can test the microphone here and you can test the speaker to test the volumes. Let's uh, go now to advanced part. This is very important. Make sure that you check this box here so that you show in meeting option to enable original sound. And if you hover over, this will turn off audio enhancements, such as echo cancellation and noise suppression. And that's exactly what you want it to do. Those so-called audio enhancements are great if you're running a conference in a crowded office with air conditioning fans and the people banging doors and scrapping chairs and so on. But they are a disaster when you're trying to stream audio. So I'm going to be transmitting exactly what I hear. Okay, so now we've done with all the settings. Please take a look how a colleague is explaining it further. Always join with computer audio so that you're using your external microphone or your interface. Okay, now what you should see, this here, which says turn off original sound. When it says turn off original sound, that means that you are using the original sound from your interface or your microphone. That's exactly what you want. And you can click this down arrow here to make sure which device you're using. Now, in this case, I want to be using my interface. That's correct. So great. Now, if we go down here, next to where it says mute on this microphone, there's an upward arrow. And you see, you can always select a microphone and select a speaker here. You can also test your speaker and microphone and you can also access the audio settings from within the meeting as well so that you can go if you've forgotten something or it doesn't seem to be quite right, you can test them out here. That is how you go about setting up Zoom for music applications of any kind. It's now possible to use the original sound if you're running Zoom on your mobile device. So you do this slightly differently. If you open up the Zoom app and go to the settings icon and then click on meetings, you'll see that you can scroll down to where it says use original sound and you can actually turn that on so that when you're running a meeting from your mobile device, you can use that original sound setting just like you can on the desktop. That will turn off the echo cancellation and noise suppression and you'll get a better audio stream if you do choose to use a mobile device.